The following is an instructional video on how to bench test a Reedy collector and also prepare and install a Reedy base box. Before we begin, make sure you have the following hardware and tools available. Reedy base box, Reedy top box, equal length power and ethernet cables. If using a cellular backhaul, a Sierra wireless modem, along with a cellular antenna, a 110 VAC power cable, a base box mounting kit, a 13 millimeter socket on a six inch extension on a ratchet, cable cutters, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a size one Phillips head screwdriver. If you plan to use a cellular backhaul as your ethernet connection, set up your modem as follows. Unbox your Sierra wireless modem. And install onto the mount as so. Making sure that your ports are facing away from your white spring-loaded clip. Open up your base box. Inside you'll find a loose ethernet cable and a gray power cable. This gray power cable is your power cable for your modem. Plug in your modem power, plug in one side of your loose ethernet cable, and also install your cellular antenna. Clip onto the rail once you're complete. Install the other side of your Ethernet into the five port of your Ethernet junction box. You're ready to power on your Ethernet once the box is ready for power. Next we will install our 110 VAC power cable. First ensure that your power cable insulation is cut back at least four inches from the tip of your power cable. Then thread it in through the bottom large port of the base box. First, take your green wire and install onto the ground strip at the bottom of the box. Once tight, pull on it a little to make sure it's secure. Next, take your phase one black wire and install it in the L port by pushing down on the orange plunger. Next, the neutral white wire in the in port, same as before. Give each a little tug to make sure that they are secure. Now, make sure that your transformer is set to 120 volt. It has a switch between 230 and 120. This can be seen through the side viewport and turning the switch closest to the bottom of the collector turns it to 120 volt. Making sure that both transformers are down and off, plug in your power cable. Next, you can flip the bottom breaker, supplying power to the transformer in the box. The power light on the transformer will turn on. Next, plug in your ethernet cable to your top box. For the purpose of this test, we will be using the number one port in your bottom box. When plugging your ethernet cable into your top box, make sure to be pushing on the back side of the black connector instead of pulling with the threads. This will ensure that you have a nice, secure ethernet connection. Next, we will plug in the power cable to your top box.
the red cable going to the number one port and the black cable going to your zero port or neutral port. power cable threads onto your top box using a keyway, so it only goes in in one direction. Now your top box is fully connected. For the purpose of the test, we will be using a landline connection for our ethernet. So our landline connection will be going to the five port of our ethernet junction box. This will be the same port you would plug in your Sierra wireless modem if you're using a cellular backhaul. Now that our power is plugged in and grounded, we are ready to test the top box connectivity. Turn on the bottom junction box first. This supplies power to your transformer and the transformer 24 volt light should illuminate. Next, turn on your top transformer, allowing power to your ports for your top boxes. Once you flip that transformer, green lights should illuminate in your top box, starting with the number one light up top being green, signifying power to the top box. If all pre-assembly steps are correctly followed, all lights should illuminate or blink green. If all lights on your top box do not show green or blink green, please reference the troubleshooting guide in our collector installation data sheet. Once you've successfully completed a bench test of your Reedy collector, power down your base box and disconnect all cables. You can now proceed to mount the base box. The mounting feet for your base box can be found in the hardware bag that came inside the box. First, open up the bag and take out the mounting hardware. Each foot comes with a mounting foot, a plastic washer, and a bolt. Work like so. To install these bolts efficiently, use a piece of paper towel on the outside of your socket Press the bolt head into the socket and tear off the paper towel from around the bolt. Now the bolt is secure in our socket. Open up our box. And install the foot either vertically or horizontally. Feed your bolt through. Once all four feet are mounted to the bottom box, take a measurement between each foot and transfer those to the structure that you plan to mount your base box. Once your box is mounted, make sure to ground your box using the provided ground strap on the bottom of the bottom box. Now that your base box is mounted, you can proceed by installing the Reedy Collector Top Box. 